Welcome to Be More Yogic. My name is Amanda D, and I'm going to break down the pose side crow for you today. Um, so what you will need is two blocks if you have them. If you don't, um, don't worry about that. I can still guide you through it. But I've, I came up with this really great tool to make it a little easier to find the pose. So if you do have two blocks, grab them. And we'll just start with a little bit of twisting. So cross your legs, have your right leg in front, your left leg behind. You're gonna inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky, the ceiling, and then exhale, take the left fingertips behind you, right hand to the outer knee. Inhale, grow tall through the spine. Exhale, twist to look over your left shoulder. Inhale. Exhale, twist in, inhale, and exhale, twist. You're going to come back to the front, take your hands behind you like a kang kang dancer, lean back, open the legs, circle the ankles, one direction, then the other direction, and change legs. Left leg in front, inhale, reach your arms up, lengthen, right hand behind you, left hand to the outer knee, inhale, grow tall. Exhale, twist to look over your right shoulder. Roll to the front of your sit bones, lift up taller and exhale, twist. One more, inhale. And exhale, twist. Come back to the center. This time lean back to extend your legs forward. Bend your right knee. Have the foot to the close to your inner knee. Take your right finger touch behind you, flex through the left foot, inhale, lift the left arm up, and take the elbow to the outer thigh. Push the knee back as you lift the heart. Knee presses back into the arm so it's not crossing the midline. Some of you might reach down, hold into the outer foot, and extend the leg forward. Move the foot again so it's in line with the right hip, and then reach the right arm back. Again, if you can't grab the foot, just have the elbow to the outer knee. Come to the front, if you can hold on to the inner foot, crown shasana, lift the leg up, lift through the heart. Otherwise you can have your hands here, try and pull the heart forward and up. You can also have the knee a little bent if you feel like you're rounding your lower back. And then extend the leg. Bend through the left knee, left foot to the inner knee. Hold foot on the floor, inhale your left arm up, take the finger tops behind you, right arm lifts up. Flex through your straight leg foot, elbow to the outer thigh. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, twist. Either stay here or some of you can reach for the outer foot and extend that left leg. Again, okay, move it over to the left so it's in line with your left hip point. Lift through the heart. Maybe reach your left hand behind you. Twist a little deeper. Maybe holding onto the inner foot, crossing at the wrist, and then start to lift the leg up. You don't want to be rounded in your lower back like this. Roll to the front of your sit bones, lift through the heart. If this is too much, hold onto the back of the leg and pull your heart up. If your hamstrings are really tight, bend the knees so you're not rounded in your lower back. Now bend both your knees, placing the feet on the floor. Take the right finger tops behind you, left arm lifts up. Exhale, elbow to the outer thigh. Press your knees over to the left with the elbow and then push the knee back into the arm. Twist in to look over your right shoulder. Come back to the center, change sides. Elbow to the outer thigh. Push the knees to the right with the elbow and then press the knees back into the arm. One more time, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale. Okay, let's just one more time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, we should be ready now. So, if you've got those two blocks, if you don't, again, you can just skip this part out and then fast forward. You can also just watch and learn by watching. So, if you sit 
onto this back block with your left hip and then bring your left knee on top of the opposite blocks. So you set on the blocks, right to the edge. So align your thigh with the front edge of the block. Now take your hands forward so your hands are shoulder distance apart. And then I want you to bend your elbows back so your elbows come towards the blocks. Now from here, if you move the weight forward, your feet will lift up. Now just imagine that instead of the blocks, you're leaning onto your elbows like your elbows are the blocks. Try to square your shoulders to the floor, picking up the left shoulder. You can also play with variations here. You can extend the legs. You can reach that top leg back. And it's the same feeling. Lift your shoulder heads. And then move the blocks out of the way. Now your elbows become the blocks. So if we start with our feet together and you take your right elbow to the outer knee. Now I lift up high on the left tippy toe. You see how my knee goes higher. I'm trying to get that knee as high up onto the armpit as I can. So it's a deep twist. Now you can take this left elbow and bring it against the left hip so it's touching. Hands shoulder distance apart. Now if you think of your hands as the middle of a scale, all the weight is on this side of the scale. So we have to get more weight over there. So if you look forward, don't look down, look forward. So I start to reach my chin towards the opposite side. I walk my feet. Now you see how my elbows become those blocks. I walk my feet back, I reach my chin, I keep going, press into my fingertips, and then you see it is like a scale. See that? Now eventually, and that might not work for you with having the elbow against the hip. That's kind of hard sometimes for guys with big shoulders. Eventually, though, you do want to work to not lean on that left elbow. It's the same concept. Walk your feet back. And then we extend the legs eventually one day. Maybe reach that top leg back. And as you notice, as that top leg goes back, my head has to go closer to the floor. And then it's hard to talk. But you keep trying to find your breath. Let's try that on the other side. Just bring the back of the hands to the floor. Wiggle your fingers. Bend the elbows back. Let's do that to the other side. So use your blocks first. Take the blocks to the right of your hip. Sit on, um, sit on the block and then bring your right knee onto the block and try to align the front edge of the block with the thigh. Now from here, you're gonna bring your elbows back towards the block, hand shoulder distance apart, and then see if you can start to bring your cheek towards the floor. Sometimes this feels more comfortable turning the head rather than looking forward so you don't face plant. You catch on the side of your head. Now let's take the blocks away and imagine that your elbows are the blocks. So we're on our tippy toes, legs together, ground down your hands, shoulder distance apart, lift up onto your right tippy toe, try and get that knee as high upon the armpit as you can so it doesn't slide. This right elbow touches the right hip, so you bump it against the hip. Your hands are the middle of the scale. So look forward, not down. Walk your feet back. Reach your head forward, maybe the side of the head. Walk your feet back. And then that's that scale effect. And if you do fall, you don't have far to go. Eventually, you want to not lean in the straight elbow. So your knee gets higher on the armpit. Look forward, walk your feet back, and then lift the feet. Maybe one day extend the legs, maybe another day reach that top leg back, bring your head closer to the floor. 
and then come down. Bring the back of the hands together. Reach your elbows towards the floor. Give your fingers a little wiggle. Bring your hands together, interlace the fingers, right index finger in front. Lift the arms up, lift the heart. Change hands, change fingers. Lift the arms up, through the heart. Take the fingers behind you, interlace the fingers. Reach the thumbs towards the floor. Lift the heart, look up. This is just to counter the twisting. Back bends always feel good after twisting and vice versa. Change the interlacing, thumbs reach down, heart lifts. You can always sit for a few minutes after you practice just to let the energy drop down, just like a snow globe. When you shake it, the snow runs around the snow globe and then as you place it down onto the floor and just let the energy settle, the snow falls to the floor. So you want to feel that in your body. Thank you for joining us here at Be More Yogic. My name's Amanda D. That was Side Crow. Have a wonderful day.